individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? Let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. Why? No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? <sighs> I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? <laughs> Y2K, right. man. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Windows. <laughs> Is what the main. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes. And everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh, Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place. And it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably. But the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well... I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. What do you mean it wasn't her fault? The computer room. <gasps> Developed that fucking program. Room. Is he safe? Oh, is that her bird? Overgrown parakeet. Excuse me, he's a parrot. 
and he's my best friend. My only friend. E. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? Yep. That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. <laughs> cool, Paro. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. She's got the what same kind of color scheme as um, Claire from Resident Beats. Evil 2, aren't you? That the black and um, red thing. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. No, I didn't say go into the water yet. Did not say that at all. Right, let's check out the cell phone. So that's what that ringing was, like, a minute ago. And um, it did it earlier on, like, about an hour and a half ago. I didn't know that's what it was. I thought it was, like... I don't know, detecting something. Well, shit, it doesn't seem to be working now. Maybe if we go back in that room. Maybe if we go back in here, let's check. Let's check. Just in case, I don't want to fall over any mines. Right, here we go. Here we go, got it. I got an email. Be careful, clear more mines are set there. Yes, very, very useful after I've already gone past that bit. Awesome. Thank you. <sighs> Could be more aware for that shit in the future. Right then, let's throw down a serve. Um, that's not what you do. Oh, okay, fine. I'll fucking save in the box. See if Rose will talk to me now. She wouldn't save before. Here we go. Do you need to save? I do. I do need to save. Thank you. I shall save over one. Huh? What would you do? What have you done for me lately? Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Exactly. All you've done is bee suit recently. All you've done is bee suit. Jack, what is it? I've always been alone. Huh? I'm so That's all right. lonely. Lonely? Rose, we <laughs> are joking. Not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I After we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night or you head for the door. Is this really the time <laughs> to bring this up? Why, Jack? Why? What's are we riding, man? I'm right in the middle of a mission and I Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams, to spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? privacy. I just can't be bothered. I need to stretch <sighs> out in bed. Wrong word. You don't, you don't let me stretch. That there are certain Take all covers and shit. I have to keep to myself. No, not you. <laughs> Do you remember when <laughs> no, not I forced my way into your room? We've known <laughs> each other for almost a year. And you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. I was so worried about you. Look, I'm sorry. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room. <laughs> your room your scared me the most. <laughs> there wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. 
just cry because he's, he's only got a bed no and a desk in his room? Said, no family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose, I only use that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. Oh, sick burn. That's why I tried to keep you out. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw that room. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? Maybe. That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Right. After the mission. I understand. Seriously, that was not the time, was it? I mean, obviously there's some shit going down between those two, but that was not the time to be having that conversation. I will agree with Raiden on that. Let's change to Snake now, rather than Pliskin. Iloquoi Pliskin. Right. Take Emma and go to strut L. There's a ladder down onto the oil fence on the ocean surface from that strut. Fucking Raiden's personal I just got blown wide open there, didn't it? And according to the... Uh, actually, I'm do you know, that's been like one of the most interesting dialogues between those two. Let's see if they got anything else. Hey, Jack. Oh, she wasn't Hey, Jack a minute ago. She wasn't all hey jack a minute ago. It was all your room's fucking lifeless just like your heart. It's like, oh. Um, Jack, about trying to break into your room. Rose, just forget about it. No, listen to me. I said I did it because I was worried about you, but it wasn't just that. What? I was suspicious. I thought there might be someone else. Someone else? Another woman. Rose. I really thought so, because sometimes you're so horribly cold. You know I wouldn't. I'm serious. Sometimes I feel like you're pushing me away, so I... Did you get in? Yeah. Are you satisfied now? There wasn't anyone there, was there? No. No, there was no one there. There was absolutely no one in your room. Not another woman, not me, not even you. Rose. I'm sorry, I just wanted to apologize, that's all. Talk to you later. <laughs> Good shit, and according to the uh, in-game timer there, it's um, just over 12 hours, guys, so that must have been the three hours for tonight. My god, that goes quick. I mean, my, um, my obs says three hours and 12 minutes, but I thought I was rambling on at the beginning, but I guess I stopped and started streaming fair bit to begin with. Like I say, apologies about that. Bloody webcam. No, not webcam. USB audio interface plugged into the wrong port, unfortunately. But there we go for today, guys. Finish with a bit of, um, Rose and Raiden strife. Oh, he's gonna be in the doghouse. I would say he'd be sleeping on the sofa, but I don't think she'd like that. Seems as though she keeps going about, are you gonna spend time in my bed? Raiden's like, no, a girl's a yuck. It's like, I don't know, just the way he acts and the president's like, are you actually a dude? Let me just, like, check. Come on, I guess. I guess I felt a couple of peas rolling around in that cod piece, so go on then. And then you've got Rose going on about, like, you never spend time in my bed, why won't you love me? And shit like that. So it's like, I mean, wonder people are always like, well, you know, Raiden plays for the other team and shit like that. It does seem like he doesn't give a shit though, doesn't it? He does not give a shit about being in that relationship, so, you know, why? Well... Hey, hey, somebody just give me, somebody just give me an, well, not give me an awesome idea, somebody proposed an awesome idea. Trank Emma and call her. Yes. Absolutely yes. Let's, let's trank the struggling girl. Right in the fucking nanos. Yeah, got like nano shit in the rear. Oh, you cow. Oh, it makes it for an easier shot. Right in the nano. Yeah. Right. Oh, yes. Fucking transmit that. Transmit that, Frankenstein. Right, apparently we've got a caller now. You can't call Emma. You can't call Emma, dude! Oh, that's a shame. wonder if anybody's got anything to say about... Snake, what do you think about me, um, tranking Emma? Right, take Emma and go to... He don't give a shit. 
course he doesn't. Who, who might give a shit? Mr. X. I don't think he will either. No response. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. Bot Rose. Oh my god, you'd never trunk me in the ear, but you trunk Emma in the ear. Jack, I guess you need to save. Take care, Jack. Oh, that's a cold take care, Jack. That's a very cold take care, Jack. Uh, Jack, I guess you need to serve. Yeah, well, take care and fuck yourself. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, hey. I'm conferring with stream chat, and stream chat says tune the radio. Tune the radio to 14152. Then ask for cats to be tuned to 14152. <laughs> nice. Hmm, <laughs> Mal. Oh, is that where the parrot got Venus in cancer from? Is that all I'm getting out of her? What the hell does that even mean? Venus in- I'm gonna Google that later on. What the fuck does Venus in cancer mean? It should woke up! I saw it! Okay, right, yeah, look, she don't wake up there, but watch what happens if I skip. Look, 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 look. Look, look, she's fucking wide awake there. He's a fucking faker. A dirty, dirty faker. Look, that quite clearly says zzz. But she's awake. That's bullshit right there. I tell you, can I mean, like, companies need to get me to play test the games, I'll find all these weird shit. Ooh, you liar. You, you ain't asleep. Shut up. I was trying to give her a smiley face. But it's not really worked out well at all. This has not worked out how I planned at all. I tried to give her a smiley face and it's not it, it's it's not it's not worked out well at all. Oh, I need to reload. That's the last thing you need when you're doing something like this. She looks like fucking Pinhead now. Make, the computer's making a strange noise. Not strange as what I'm doing. <laughs> Almost done. Shit, I missed. How'd, how'd you miss somebody that's like knocked out? Oh, one more. It, it, it's, it's the fucking... It's the money shot. Where's the money shot gonna go? Right... Right in between the eyes. Yes! Shot. What a shot. Look what I made. I made that. A little bit similar. <laughs> there we go. The the tranquilizers. They're not cigarettes. The tranquilizers. Of course, she'd be entirely fucking dead by now. Sent one right through her fucking brain, and like the amount of trank that's got into her. 
That is pretty nasty. Thermal confirms that she's still alive, but I beg to differ. It definitely. Definitely time for a sig over that. I have a victory sig. That's what you do. You trank her, lasses first, full of tranks, and then you have a victory sig. Box all over it. It's just, it's just like a really weird scene of like. Girl with many tranks in face, and guy stood over with box. Go. Yes, there has been much damage done here. There we go. That, yep. There we go. You can see the full damage all in one screen. I can't believe it actually let you do it. You know, in most games and shit, you'd shoot all that all that crap. Hey, up! Oh, there's no way she's getting up. See, ya, I'm running. I fucking swim, swim away. Oh, it reset. Oh, it stopped going up and down the steps. There's no way she got up after all that. Impossible. Oops. Sorry, I didn't. I swear, I got. I didn't mean to do that. But you can't. You can't strangle her. Good. As I said there's already been enough damage done. To actually do. No, not that kind of magazine. Press X button to hold, release to throw, how long the button is pressed, varies distance. Okay. Wait, what? Can I shoot these and it'll do damage or something? Throw down magazines. What's that about? Magazines do nothing. Throw a chaff grenade. Throw a stun grenade. That's it. Because magazines are crap. That's the chaff. That's the stun. It did the job. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well. I like the explosion effect of the uh, grenade launcher. It's very Resident Evil. You know, like old school Resident Evil 1, 2, 3. Look at the explosion. Holy shit. That's a scream. See what else he's got to say about that. It's at the end of the set. It's alright to fuck about. Jack, what did you do? Oh, everybody's giving me shit for killing her. I got shit from Otacon, I've had shit from Rosler. Who else we got? Who else we got? Oh shit. Oh shit! It did say enemy. In my defense, it did say enemy on the Nikita launcher. Why would you, Ryan? <laughs> oh no! Archon's gonna get Snake to beat me up. One more. One more. One more. She doing?
Shuffle account? Nope. What other various um, tools of destruction have we got? Hey, here we go. Sniper rifle. Where are you? Don't you wipe from me. There you are. Right, we're going for penetration damage here. Right, right in the middle of that. She's, to be fair, she does a big cross on her head, like, shoot here. You fucking... She ducked at that last split second? That's like... That's actually quite impressive. Emma. Raiden, you son of a... <laughs> Emma. Raiden, you son of a bitch. It's quite a di there's, there's lots of- one more, one more. One more, one more. What else we got? What else can we do? Stinger? Well, <laughs> Quick and effective. Raiden, you didn't! Raiden, I did. <laughs> there you go, guys. I saved, so none of that counts. <laughs> it's all in a, a parallel, different dimension. That's what, that's what that is. Where Raiden went fucking postal after Rose chewing him out. Rose, how could you expose me? Outing me on the codec? Colonel heard that, and Snake. So after that, this is this is the story behind it. You know, Rouse, uh, Rouse? Rose outed Raiden and cos Snake heard it, and Otacon heard it, and Colonel heard it, and Mr. X probably heard it, and everybody heard it. He just went batshit. Proper batshit- wait, wait, pardon? Mr. X. Mr. X. He just went fucking crazy. He can't believe he'd been outed in front of his hero and the colonel and everybody else like that. So he just went fucking apeshit. Started sniping Emma, throwing stun grenades, he tranked about 50 tranks into her head. You know, th this is just- this is what happened, this is the backstory, this is what happened. Not to do with me. I didn't make the game. Not to do with me. <laughs> good shit dudes, good shit. Xbox off.